dushimwe praise the lord uh, dushimi imana kwitiyobora we thank the lord because he's leading us kandi dushimiye niki cyumweru ngiye kuduha and we thank him for this sunday that he has yet given unto us kugira ngo twongere tuze gushaka mu maso hayo so that we can come to seek his face yet again uh, kandi nkuko uh, mubizi kuva dutangiye umwaka imana imaze igitugira ku mirimo yabacunguwe uh, and as you know as you are aware since we began the year the lord has been telling us about the works of the redeemed kubwo mu hariko mu kwezi itubwira ngo imirimo yose twerekeje hama boko tikora no mwete and particularly this this particular month um, it, the lord has told us that whatever our works find to do we should do it diligently ariko muri ugo rugendo iravuga ngo mujye no mu masengesho but along that journey he also tells us that go into a time of prayer and fasting ko yifuza ko imirimo tuyikorera iba bucket n'ubuzima butunganye because he desires that over the works that we do for him we, it might be backed by a life that is worthy righteous kandi niyo irushaho kuduhishurira tubashe kwikora itwishimira and it is him that continues to reveal to us so that we can serve him in a pleasing manner uh, de kansabe kuri projection badushyireho icyanditswe cyo mubwirizwa icyenda ice cya 10 uh, we'll go to judges uh, to ecclesiastes yes. chapter 9 mm-hmm. verse 10 ngo murimo wawe wose werekeje amaboko yawe ukora no mwetse that whatever your hands okay kuko ikuzimu aho uzajya nta mirimo nta nimigambi uzahabona uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 that work hard at whatever you do because there will be no action no thought no knowledge no wisdom in the world of the dead and that is where you are going Amagamba soza uyu murongo atubwira ko ikuzimu nta na kimwe nta na kimwe tuzajya nige cyo gukora ni giye turi hano mwisi at the conclusion of this verse the bible tells us that when we go into the day uh, we go to the dead we have nothing else to do there ibintu bibiri gusa bitatu dukura muri iyi verse three things that we draw out of this particular verse katwinjiza mu nsanganyamatsiko tuganiraho that is going to take us to the theme that we are going to look at nuko tukiye gukora tukiri muri yisi is that we have to work while we are still alive kandi nuko muri yisi buri muntu wese afite igihe yahawe azabaho and that everyone has a life that has been allocated to them in this life kandi niba buri wese afite igihe igihe cyo ansoa ntago gihagara gikomeza kigenda and if everyone has a time the time does not stop it continues moving isaha ihora ituruna urushingero hora ruturuna the watch the clock is always turning rura turuna ruga turuna igihe cyanje nikizagera pa ngacaho it continues to turn until when my time comes and then i go same when your time comes you shall also go and that means that life uh, time does not stop and whatever is required of us to do we should do it while we are alive and that means we should not be at rest to work there is no pause there is no pause Yohana gatano 17 John chapter 5 verse 17 Yesu arabasubiza ati ariko arabasubiza ati ni Yesu ababwiraga ati data arakora kugeza ubu nange ndakora John chapter 5 verse 17 says that my father my father is always working and I, I too must work Data arakora kugeza ubu nange ndakora My father works till now I also work there is no time to pause the works that the Lord is calling us unto is a lifetime work uh, before we become diligent or something motivates us it is to know that the time is short it doesn't mean that uh, since I'm young I still have a lot of time there are people that live long and, and wonder why they are not going but God has given them the grace but there is no time to pause in serving the Lord even when we read in Genesis uh, when God created and then paused in the seventh day, he, he 
kucho yari yatangiye gukora nako ijambo y'Imana aratubwira He rested from which that he has done He did not stop working but he rested from that which he was doing Ya pozinze kurema He paused in creating ariko yakomeje kuba Imana But he continued to be the Lord Imana iramutse hagaze gukora twafa twashira If God ever stopped working we would all die Igize gukiga kuri ubuntu bwayo mwisi twese twabyarangira If the Lord withdrew his grace from the earth we should we would all die Uyu munsi ko duhagaze nuko ari ibintu imbandi gukora Today we are standing and alive because the Lord is at work Stabilize ubuzima bwacu mu buryo mu cyangwa ubundi That has stabilized in our, li- our lives in one or the other I don't know the troubles ziri kuba mu mara yange sinzi ntandi nabimenye ariko bari ibintu imana irinze kugira ngo ibyo yanshoje mbirangize There should be problems in my intestines and I, do, I wouldn't know but Amen. God is at work there Ari ibyo irinze mu rugo iwawe ari ukoko ku imana kwa hagumye Uh, these, the way the Lord is keeping watching over your home kurahaguma, kurahaguma, so that you may fulfill that that he created U, you for while you are at peace and there's nothing that is distracting you Uh, that means that the Lord has never stopped working that's why Jesus said that my father is working and I too must work uh, when we read the book of Romans 8 chapter 32 8 verse 32 34 ninde iteka ni Kristo Yesu kandi le wazipfiriye ndetse akaba yarazutse ari iburyo bw'Imana adusabira Romans 8:34 says 8:34 says um, who then will condemn them not Christ Jesus who died or rather who was raised to life and is at the right hand of God pleading with him for us na Yesu mwijuru Even Jesus is in heaven is still at work. He's pleading for you and I. He's interceding each day. He's interceding every day. So that others may also receive the grace of the Lord for salvation. And even us that are already there that we may be established in the grace. Which also confirms that the Father is at work and we too must work. And he who called you is the same that called me. We also don't have time to rest. We don't have time to rest. We don't rest or pause from serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. And that takes us to the theme that we're going to talk about today. Uh, not losing the opportunity to serve the Lord in every circumstance that you're going through. Laying hold of the opportunities that the Lord gives to you and I. God, God has been uh, teaching us about the different facets of the work of God. Ariko ubw'Imana yatwinjije no mu gusenga. But now that God has also taken us into a time of fasting and prayer, uh, we should pray that the Lord should open our eyes. Uh, over that that he doesn't approve of that he will set us free from that. Ariko itubohore tunamenye naho dusobanukirwa amahirwe yaduhaye gukorera ariko uyu munsi tutarero tuyamenya But that so that our eyes can open unto the opportunities that he's giving us to serve him Ayo magambo ro turaza gushingira mu mu gitabo cya Yohani And those words we shall uh, base on the book of John Igice cya kane uh, chapter 4 Uh, would read a big portion of the passage but we read from verse 1 up to verse 7 Someone says here nuko agera mu mudugudu wa Samaria witwa Sukara bugufi bw'igikingi Yakobo yahaye umwana we Yosef kandi aho hari riba rya Yakobo nuko Yesu ananijwe nuko yagenze cyane apfa kwicara kuri iryo buye kuri iryo riba hari nk'isaha esheshatu umusamariya kazi aza kuvoma Yesu aramubwira ati 
pa utuzi tuko kunwa uh, yes john chapter 4 verse 1 to verse 7 uh, the bible says the pharisees had that jesus was winning and baptizing more disciples than john actually jesus himself did not baptize anyone only his disciples did so when jesus had that what was being said he left judea and went to galilee on his way there he had to go through samaria in samaria he came to a town named Sychar, which was not far from the field that jacob had given to his son joseph jacob's well was there and jesus tired by the journey sat down by the well it was about noon a samaritan woman came to draw water to draw some water and jesus said to her give me a drink of water hari bintu hari bintu bitatu byingenzi tuza kumufuza ngo tuze kuganiraho there are three things that i would like us to uh, talk about biza kudufasha ni gute tutatakaza amahirwe imana yaduha yo kwikorera that will help us to understand how we cannot lose uh, the opportunities that the Lord has given us to serve Him. The first thing is it requires us to be led by the Lord. We desire to serve the Lord. That our lives may be useful in the hands of the Lord. We need to be led of the Spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit will reveal to us even the hid, hidden things that our eyes may not be able to perceive on yes, our own. Uh, when Jesus was leaving uh, Judea, he was going to Galilee, he was not going to Samaria. When Jesus was avoiding is the fights and confrontations that were coming from the Pharisees. They, they were also serving the Lord, but they hadn't really understood what Jesus had come to do. So he avoided them and decided to go to Galilee. But do you know that we learn from that as well? Do you know that we learn from that as well? There are several works that the Lord is beginning to do in our lives. It's not for conflicting. Uh, works are supposed to complement, not to conflict with each other. We are not in a competition so that you can say that my team did more than others did. Every action and word of the Lord Jesus leaves us with a big lesson. And so as we continue with the story, we see that Jesus, along the way, he felt like going through Samaria. Uh, his, his plan has been altered a bit. He allowed the leading of the Lord. He felt that he needed to go through Samaria. It is very important to have plans in life. It is very important that we get organized and have plans or for things that we are going to do. But for all the time that we will be called the children of God, every time that we are called the children of the Lord, we are not led by our plans and programs but by the Spirit of the Lord. It is the Holy Spirit that will come and tell you that hold a bit that first turn this side. You are rushing going home, but first turn and go and visit that brother. And that, uh, yet there is a calling of the Lord that you have to serve in that particular place. Uh, this Lord that we are praying that may deliver us. Let, us set us, let him set us free so that we can so that we can be open to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. There is an opportunity to serve the Lord somewhere where we can't see and we only need to permit the Holy Spirit to lead us. The second thing, uh, he explains the, uh, the opportunities that is hidden, opportunities that we do not want to lose. 
that is hidden. Uh, in Kinyaranda, uh, hiding means that putting it somewhere really, really that you cannot understand. Uh, why it is called hidden is because we can't imagine that place. Uh, when we were still young, we used to hide our clothes. We were like four young boys, and we used not like washing clothes. So we uh, it required her to go and check it out so that she might correct us on that particular aspect. Uh, there is an opportunity that is hidden in the barriers that dis, uh, uh, divide people. There is an opportunity that is hidden in the barriers that divide people. There is an opportunity to serve the Lord today, but which is hidden in a barrier that we created, and we said in our hearts that I'm not going to cross this barrier. And say that in this particular aspect, it's not connect, it's not connected, we don't connect. And that is why they said that that opportunity is hidden, because you wouldn't see it with your own eyes. Yes, uh, Bible says that Jesus felt like passing through Samaria. In, the, in history, the Samari, uh, Samarian, Samaritans and, uh, and Judea people and Jews, Jews. They, were, they were not connecting, they were two parallel people. Aba Samaria Vara Bayuda, Arikovaji, Kuivanga, Nabanya Mahanga. Uh, Samaritans were Jew Jews, but they had um, yoked themselves with foreigners. Uh, when they had gone as captives uh, by Syrians. They, the, Samar the Samaritans had yoked with the other nations of the world, um, and the Jews felt that for them they were still original and pure, and therefore could not easily blend with um, Samaritans. So much so that when they were moving from Judea to, uh, to Galilee, they used to find a way of dodging or circumventing uh, a place in Samaria, but yet they had to go through there. Let us read uh, John chapter 8, verse. Forty-nine. After Jesus had, after Jesus had uh, rescued the lady that was going to be stoned because of immorality. Uh, they asked Jesus, "Were not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon in you?" Uh, in other words, to the Jews, a Samaritan has demons. Uh, there are people that can never get along. One goes to the left and another to the right. Uh, in Luke chapter nine, chapter nine, verse fifty-two. Fifty-two. Nine fifty-two. Yes. And that is the word of the Lord. Uh, Jesus said that he will send the angels to you to take you to the nations. Who went into a village in Samaria to get every everything ready for him, but mm -hmm. but the people there would not receive him because it was clear that he was not on his way to Jerusalem. Uh, you know the Jews would say that you cannot go through this place. It means that it was really a place where the, 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 there are people that could never get along. 
ariko ibaze ko ahi Samaria nyine imana ya yowe yesu ati yiyumvamo ko agomba kunyura Samaria ari ho imana ari yateguye umutima w'umuntu witwa mu Samaria kazi imana ari yateguye neza ivuga ngo uyu muntu azahura na Yesu hariya ubugingo bwe buzahinduka but imagine that it was impressed upon Jesus's heart to go through Samaria yet in Samaria the Lord had prepared the heart of the Samaritan woman knowing that that is where she's going to meet Jesus and her life will never remain the same na handi ni hariya is Samaria no other place but in Samaria kandi dusumye mu bice byakurikiye inyuma tuza kumva ngo yarasohotse amaze guhura na Yesu yesa amaze kumubwira uwo ari we amaze kubona ko ntacyo ahisha Yesu asohoka yiruka ajya kubwira abantu bose when you read the, uh, the whole story you see that after she encountered Jesus and Jesus told her everything and after realizing that she can't hide anything from Jesus she decided to run and inform everyone about her encounter kandi abo bantu bose ngo baraza nabo baza kwiyumvira Yesu and the bible says that all those people came to listen to Jesus ibyo bituma Yesu ahasibira kabiri ahamara indi minsi ibiri and that made Jesus to stay there for two more days ngo benshi bizera Yes. And many believed in Jesus. Umuryango uri hehe kura himbako. Where is the door that you should remove the barriers? Yes, ikintu yari yigishije abigishwa bari kumwe. What Jesus had taught the disciples he was with. Kandi natwa twigisha dusoma ibyo byabayeho. And what he's teaching us as people reading this particular story. Ni himbago zishobora kubaho mu buzima bwacu. Is that there are barriers that can exist in our lives that can hinder us from serving the Lord. And yet sometimes your calling is behind that barrier. It is within hidden in that barrier where you say that I cannot do this. Do not lose the opportunity to serve the Lord. Aishi nyuma yimbago ya barrier na customs n'imigenzo nibindi cyo twavuze ngo ibi ntabwo tujya dukorana. That is hidden behind everything that we've erected to support to to distinguish or to divide us from particular people. Iyo tuvuga imbago rero practically imbago ni abantu imbago ze wagati abantu ziratandukanye. Uh, and when we talk about barriers the barriers that exist between people are different. Imbago ziba aho komoka. It could be because of your own. One comes from the north, another from the south. One from the east and another from the west. One speaks English, another French. Sometimes our ethnicities as Banyaranda. Also our social status. Our education status. And and also. Some have not gone to school. There are different things that can cause divisions. Some that are, think are civilized and others that we consider uncivilized. In our daily lives, there are so many barriers, brethren. Samaria. Samaria. What is Samaria to you? Samaria to the Jews meant where things cannot get along. This zeal that we have to serve the Lord. This zeal and prayer of saying that Lord reveal to me what you've created me to do. God is ready to do it. We already sang that you cannot fail. Beloved, to them that have believed nothing is impossible with him. But you know if you've not believed him, there it might not be possible. But for those that believe, he gave unto them the right to become children of the most high. He gave us the right to walk into what he has said. He gave us the capability that when we follow him day by day, we shall walk in his footsteps. Uh, he gave us the cap capacity so that when we meet a barrier, we can go through it. Because Jesus is all powerful. Samaria, what is your Samaria? Where God wants to use us. Uh, he won't do these works without you and I. Why don't we ask the Lord to reveal to us? 
The barriers in your life today that may cause you to lose the opportunity to serve the Lord. Uh, in your life, you find that you see they say that uh, two arms that are not uh, don't meet cannot greet each other. Samaria What is your Samaria? Uh, you know God can call you into a particular ministry and you say that I can't go into this ministry. Uh, something that is being led by a woman. Don't you know that? Haven't you heard that? Uh, by the way, that is a barrier. Here the uh, the second barrier. You see when we talk, uh, there is also a barrier of saying that this one is young, age becomes a barrier. Even from the community pastor at it is possible that you see that like the committee that was presented and say, will this really lead me? Uh, and then you point a finger and say, this one can lead me and this one, but this one, no. Uh, and that is a barrier. How do you know the purpose and the will of the Lord upon your life? Let us reflect. And let's see the, the work that was done in Samaria. Because Jesus allowed to go through. interpretation So uh, imagine the opportunities that are before you but they are hidden behind barriers but you can't see because you've erected that barrier uh, maybe God gave you skills in, uh, in camera with all the respect I have camera uh, and then you think that with all due respect I think this is for young people that is a barrier that the worship team is for young people uh, now after you've gotten married you should find something more reasonable to do that is already a barrier that you've erected I cannot go to the, to the girls' ministry because they are always jumpy, they only speak French. That is also a barrier. I cannot go to intercession. They meet five times or three times a, a week. I don't have uh, that transport fare. Who told you? Someone told you. There is someone who whispered to you a lie that is not in the word of the Lord. Uh, when Adam and Eve were to sin, they listened to the lie from the devil. Samaria Yahweh. What is your Samaria? Until we discover it. Until you discover it. Uh, the, when we discover it, the Lord will use us. May the Lord reveal unto us all the opportunities that we have that are hidden where we placed barriers where we said that it's not possible. Amen. 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 Uh, and you see barriers also come with uh, oh, yeah. uh, discontentment. Uh, you know barriers cause us not to advance and because we are not proud of some aspects Because we've set limits for ourselves. Amen. Amen. Things are clear. We must see our uh, these days as men we don't want bad things uh, 
kugira ngo bashyiremo izo produits uruhara because people don't want bald heads you find men in casks or, uh, when they are trying to put hair on on the bulbs that are already coming kubera impamvu nashaka uruhara burya nta kindi Uh, you know the reason why someone would have a bald head? It's because it takes me to a particular place that I don't want Ara to enter. Uh, it's because someone will see me and wonder. Uh, one time I looked at the photos that are taken here in our media team. Uh, they took a back photo of me and I saw something that was already coming. Uh, you see you can see hair here, here in the front but at the back uh, the journey of pastor Ed that came before and there are men, men. They are servants of God. God. It doesn't change a thing. And you know God has Ujia. permitted that you enter that state. Uh, you see the problem is the reason that is causing you. And, and you see that there and then a barrier is created. Uh, then you also add hair dyes. You know I'm talking about men. Why don't you leave your gray hair to come especially? Why are you hiding your gray Why should hair? I? Why should you? Nuziko hari umuntu uzareba burya bavuga ngo 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 iyo abantu bakuze nimvi ari ukuntu bazisobanura mu buzima busanzwe ngo sa inspire la sagesse. Um na bibirira bivuga. The Bible says that gray hair is a crown of honor. Bivuga ngo usiko ari abantu hari umuntu ari kuzaza akareba hari umupapa ari kuzaza hano agacisha amamaso kuko akuze akareba kare batari kubu ha mu papa w'ikigero cyanje nabona nagenda mukurikire bavandimwe maybe possibly there is someone that ushobora kuza mu papa kuzurushye probably there is going to be a day when an old man is going to come here and where are amenya bya spirituality byinshi They do not know a lot of spirituality. They do not know a lot of protocols. Uh, they may look through the whole congregation and see if I see someone with gray hair. If he has come to pray, it's possible that this person met God. And you find that that old woman has gone to find Mama Isaru and poured their heart to them on basis of what of the gray hair that they saw therefore man my brethren if you dye your hair and that old man comes and finds old people look young what would they they tell and they say that those that stood in front they are young people i cannot tell them my problems let's be proud of ourselves let us be proud and content with who we are let's be content with who we are let's be proud of who we are Uh, brethren uh, barriers are a very big topic uh, but for you to understand it well consider the things that motivate you in your life uh, if you have small legs as a lady who said that you should always put on trousers uh, and you say that because i have small legs i will always put on hide them It doesn't add up. Twabivuze mu gitondo ho hari nabajya kwisiga. Ega tuti bivuga no murusengero. Pastor yavuze ngo tujye duhugurana neza kwisiga umuna ni gikarasha kwigira inzobe. Let's also talk about some of these things in church. Some people go to bleach. Ariko se reka bura reka tworoshya ibintu bitandukanye. Uyu munsi nitwemera ko umuntu Imana yamuremye ari umugabo kwa zigira umugore. Uh, you know uh, let's talk about some of these things uh, you are created as a man and there is a woman created for you you may not say you may say that these things are not comparable but at the uh, before the lord it is all the same uh, if god created you light skinned remain light skinned don't make yourself dark 
kore icyo ushobora gukya no no kwisiga biratandukanye ubishoboye ugakaraba neza ugasa neza ariko niyo mpamvu ari iyi ni dossier yebana n'umutima ntabwo ari ibintu dushobora kuvuga n'umutima w'umuntu uh, you see being well kept and uh, being uh, bleaching are two different things you should no, be well kept no umuntu ukora kugira gucya kugira ngo nzase nande nzase na these are heart issues and people will do them out of their heart and say let me bleach so that I can look so and so and you know it will be evident to everyone uh, you know there are things that you don't touch you see even if a man makes himself transformed into a, a woman Still, the voice will sell them away. You can go through all surgery and uh, work on every other part of your body, but the voice may not really ca come out as feminine. Uh, you see, you think that we do not recognize that, but when you look at people's fingers, you find you find that their finger joints are dark and you see a person that is not content with how they were created. Kwisiga bigera ushaka guhindura uruhu rwawe urashaka ngo harahantu urashaka ko sinshobora kuhinda ngiye kwinjira aha ndi ntago mpashimye iyi kategori abasaba cyane ntago nyishimye ndashashyize urugabano uh, you see, bleaching means that you, you're not content with this particular category of people. You want to start then to step into another category. Gute, gute and, and therefore, you set up a barrier that causes you to do what you're doing. It causes you to do things that them that believe in the Lord shouldn't be doing. You know why the Lord dwells on the details of our lives? We are precious before him. We, we are people that he has redeemed with his blood. We are a royal priesthood, a people set apart. He has set us apart so that he may fulfill what he intends to do uh, That is why he's in heart when he sees us drawing things of where we are is, uh, while forgetting who we are. Let us pray that the Lord will reveal to us the barriers that we've erected that cause us not to fulfill what the Lord wants to do with our lives. And our prayer, the Lord, the Lord should help us so that we don't become like Jonah. Uh, Jonah did ran away from the call of God because of the barrier he had directed. Uh, the message of redemption to the people of Nineveh, uh, he said that, no, I will not go there. When we are before the Lord, let us the, ask the Lord to heal us earlier so that we don't have to first go through the uh, fish's belly. And let me tell you, brethren, if you've accepted the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you're a child of the Lord, be careful. Be careful. God doesn't want to lose you. He can do anything Ibyo for you. Uh, God could not afford to lose Jonah. He called Jonah and told him, I'm the one who sent you. So he could not afford to lose him just like Imana that. that. U crossing. And therefore, let us uh, pray that the Lord will enable us to go through those barriers so that we can fulfill His purposes. Acts chapter chapter 
ngo icyakora muzahabwa imbaraga umwuka w'Imana umwuka wera n'abamanukira kandi muzabagabo kumpamya i Yerusalemu ni Yuda ya yose ni Samaria no kugeza mu mpera y'isi yose Acts chapter 1 verse 8 but when the holy spirit comes upon you you will be filled with power and you will be witnesses for me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth Nyuma yuko Yesu abanigiye nabigishwa be abigishije jambo ry'Imana bubaka After Jesus had tallied with his disciples and teaching them the word of the Lord Naya magambo yababwiye ati muzahabwa imbaraga z'umwuka wera These are the words that he told them that you will be given the power of the Holy Spirit Ngozi zaba kumpamya Yerusalemu that you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem. Let us imagine like here in church. Uh, a city somewhere where the things of the kingdom have been enthroned. Judea, that the Holy Spirit will give you power to witness me uh, even where you come from. But Amen. Also because Jesus was all-knowing, he did not forget Samaria. Uh, the Holy Spirit that we have not received will not give us only the power to <laughs> witness here in church where people talk about <laughs> Jesus and worship <laughs> him and everything. Uh, not even just Judea where we are approved of, where we come from, where people <laughs> celebrate <laughs> and love us. He also sent us to the people that <laughs> we are not linked to. Uh, because his power works <laughs> even where we don't Link. Uh, the power that goes beyond the barriers that you have erected. Even in places, works that you say that I can't do this, even the, that power enables you to go there. Uh, it is the power that goes beyond you looking at a guy or a lady that you're quoting or being quoted to say that this person is short or tall yes. or long and all those details. Uh, for us, if we can get lose victory, the word of the Lord is Imbaraga, still victorious. Umuka, wera haya, avizera, uh, the power that the Lord gave to the church, to the believers, is above everything else. We should pray that the Lord will reveal to us the opportunity to serve the Lord. The work that is hidden behind the barrier in Samaria. Uh, the third thing that we shall wind up with. Uh, John chapter 4. Uh, chapter 4 verse 4. John chapter 4 verse 5 and verse 6 oh, as well. Aha. Uh -huh. That Jacob well was there and Jesus tired out by the journey sat down by the well it was about noon. That Jesus was tired because of he had a long journey. And what did he do? He sat down. Isn't getting tired a normal thing? When you use your body, uh, Lord, don't you get tired? Uh, it means that uh, the journey from Samaria, uh, from Judea to Samaria was a long journey. Uh, so much that he decided to say, let me first rest. Uh, uh, and when, when we read, we find that also they were hungry. Because given that the disciples who had gone to look for food, that means the whole team was hungry. But what, where I want us to dwell, uh, the time when Jesus was tired, 
It caused him to rest, to sit. When he sat down, the Samaritan woman came. Amen. Uh, the Samaritan woman came while Jesus yes, was. Jesus, Jesus was worn yes, out. Jesus was yes, tired. Ananiwe. Jesus was tired. Uh, let us also link that to where we started we, from. Jesus wasn't going to Samaria when he set off on the journey. He was going to Galilee. Ariko Arushe. But when he got tired, a person that Jesus had, uh, the Lord had already prepared. The Lord said that this is where you're going to meet when Jesus, you are tired. And when, while you, you're tired, you're also sitting. Uh, when you're in an activity that looks uh, like a person that is tired. Ahishe muri condition to get to Fuga, Chamuri excuse to Fugango, Danani, I can't make it. I wish that we would understand the opportunity that is hidden in our situations Kufuga when we say we are tired. Ndi busy can a Kuburjo Nagumbi Shoboy. When we say I am so busy, I'm not able to do this. Kuko Yesu, Amahirgo Kuvugirimana, Amahirgo Yoguagaria data, Amahirgo Yoguhamia. Because Jesus, the opportunity to witness the Lord was linked to his getting tired. Who would imagine that in your state of being tired or I being tired, there is an assignment for the Lord? I'm not coming, I'm not coming. I'm not coming, I'm not make it. This time I cannot make it. Who would imagine that in that time when you're lamenting and saying, I am tired, you want to send out messages of excuses, <laughs> that there is an opportunity there to <laughs> serve? Uh, because it's very easy for us to give excuses. <laughs> and when you're going through difficult times, uh, it is also not just physical weariness, <laughs> but also. <laughs> Maybe you're going through difficult Bisho times of poverty. Ubu, 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 ubu Maybe joblessness. Bisho there are just difficult times altogether. And you say, Lord, you can also see this. I, it's not possible. That it's not possible for me to pray. Uh, uh, so imagine if Jesus had also uh, behaved like that. Do you see the opportunity that he would have denied the whole nation? How busy are you? How busy are you? Uh, beloved, when God was giving me this word, I, I did not tell the pastor, but, he know, but she knows. Uh, when we would come to the month of March, I used to raise the flag. Uh, while the month was starting, I would raise the flag. Pastor, uh, you know, I work with taxation and taxes. I would say, Pastor, I'm requesting for an off for this month. I want to make it. I want to make it. You know, uh, uh, the first week I was contemplating writing to the pastor. Number no. I felt that it was a no. Uh, the second week I said, let me write. Uh, there were many throws at me. Uh, and then in the middle of the third week, I thought, why don't I write? And that is when God gave me that word. If Jesus was tired, He didn't miss out opportunity to go man. He did not miss the opportunity to serve the Lord. Uh, let me give an example because I hadn't informed Pastor of this before. Uh, she said that because I know some will not be present, let me have the meeting with so and so. 
Uh, I, I went into her inbox and told her that, Pastor, on the day of the meeting, please inform me. But something had happened in my life. Something had happened in my life. Amen. Because that, the situation was different. But the this past time years. going forward, it's no longer. That this time for no, much, uh, it's not possible. No, that uh, the Bible says the Father is no, working. No, and I too must work. I will also give you another example. We had a meeting uh, some time back. We had a meeting concerning the prayers and Pastor fasting. Edwin, uh, Pastor Ed was coordinating the program of preachers and moderators. And I told Pastor Ed that wherever you appoint me, I'll be there. But it's because that the life that the Lord is calling us into what Jesus is calling us unto, it's what he did. But you see, if for me as Olivia, look at just my life, I may not even be profitable in the kingdom of the Lord. Because we, human nature, work in our personal interests. Where it's possible, where we feel comfortable. Uh, but the Lord told me that if it is me who works in you, how, how is it that you can give me a barrier? I know how busy you could be. I know how busy you can be. I know how you can live with so many things. But you can do it. Why don't you trust me? Why don't you trust me? Why don't you trust me? Uh, beloved, how tired are you? How weary are you? Uh, how many things make you run around and you say, let me first uh, get time? And so when the Lord spoke to me, the people that I had called off appointments, I called them back. Because the Lord is in control. The Lord is working, my Father is working, and I'm working too. If we have opening up our hearts to serve the Lord, we should be ready. Here you have a go. Excuse. Uh, we should be ready uh, over and above removing barriers we should also remove excuses the other surprising thing you see Jesus did not preach to the Samaritan while standing he spoke to her in a condition of someone that is tired maybe for us we read the written word but the bible says that he was tired from the journey uh, but it's possible that Jesus was speaking while panting because he was in a condition when, of someone that is tired. Maybe he was also sweating. Uh, because, uh, because Jesus, we don't see Jesus standing up and organizing himself to speak to the Samaritan. And he continued in the state that he was in. Uh, these works that we pray that the Lord uses uh, us for. Uh, it's not saying that when I get a job, Lord, I will do this for you. That Lord, after I get married, I will do that. Saying that when I finish that report, I, I will come and listen to you. Saying after, 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 that will cause us to lose the opportunity to serve the Lord. Uh, amen. Uh, amen. The Lord is telling us that even during that report that you're working on, you sh your ears should be open because the Lord might be speaking during that time you're working on the report. Let me say, go back to what the pastor spoke about. You being jobless means that you still have more time. There is an opportunity in that. 
in those conditions uh, how your pocket is um, if you feel that there is a brethren that the Lord has Umunu blessed on your heart kujiza, someone that you need to preach to Ariko, kuberako, Babon, but maybe because you can't take them to Bubon uh, you can take him to Bijogo where you can drink porridge uh, <laughs> today the youth uh, for us when we were still courting we started with a porridge in Bijogo and God gave us good oh, wives Bijogo, Pastor Eddie, you know Eh, would go out to Bijogo for porridge. Uh, no, to, to, uh, if today you may wonder how will I start that girl, but if you cannot afford this shell and all and wherever these other places, you can go to Bijogo for porridge. <laughs> This is not trickery. I share this testimony <laughs> with other people. We celebrated good things. We celebrated good things in Bidiogo while drinking porridge with a group of other people. We were celebrating the work that Lord was doing in Gajua and Edi. Amen. So, number go. Na, na, be proud of. Um, nibi kubuze. Niba ni mwenye datu gomba kukora mo mutunga. Ufite, iwi mbibiru enda bjoku mwijiko mujane umugani zamburi jimana. Niba huhana, ari hobo na hagufash. Uh, beloved, there shouldn't be any barriers. If you only Huko have 2,000, take imana, that person to be yoko and take courage. Imana na habi tugaya. Uh, because the Lord will not na disapprove of us. He will not disapprove Mama, of us. Hanu. Mothers that are here, raise your hands. We will honor you, mothers. Uh, but you know, someone wants to come and visit you at home. Uh, and there's nothing that you can do. And then you say that let them come the following month, maybe so that I have a way of welcoming them. Uh, but you see, you shouldn't fake it and uh, receive them the possible way for you. Because the coming month. Uh, Pastor Eddie told us that of a person that the Lord impressed upon his heart to speak to, to preach to them, and when he turned to preach to them, the person was already gone. When I see that word, I imagine a place where there are so many people, a crowd, and people are trying to press through a barrier, and they are pushing it. No, no. Uh, when we hear works, we, we imagine like all of us are pressing on so that it opens up and we enter in and work. Yet those works are actually very close that, to us than we can imagine. But it requires us to trust the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, you see, if they put a program on a particular day, do not give an excuse. Your timing, you get that call. You should question why the Lord has allowed that person to call you in that particular time, in that particular situation. Why is there that coincidence that they are calling you in your awkward state yet? But imagine Jesus wasn't going to some Maria, but imagine the work that was done in Samaria. And uh, we do not read the whole story, but when you read the whole chapter, you see the great work that was done in Samaria because Jesus accepted to serve the purposes of the Lord even in his circumstances that were not favorable. 
May the Lord help us not to give excuses for the times that we're going through. So that we may not miss where the Lord wants to work. Our time is spent. Uh, we say the time is an enemy, but it's not an enemy because God created it. You see, that is also an time. That is how our lives pass oh. by. Amen. It was an excuse. Let us not lay excuses. Gideon brought forth so many excuses. You are a God, where were you when all these things came? How, how come we despise this much? But God answered him in a calm manner. Uh, like, like, like to say that I know all those things, but this is one thing that I ask of you. That I ask you of you one thing. That go in your strength. Amen. Go in your little strength. With that English that you speak, with that education that you have, with that French that you have, where you come from, with your with your wife, with your children. Uh, serve just uh, come. And do you imagine the job, the work that God did through Gideon? And so, uh, just very few army people, and they overcame, they triumphed over the Midianites. Two examples as we wind up, please bear with me. Uh, even Jesus at the cross. Uh, when he was shattered, uh, when his body wasn't comfortable, we may even dare to say that it was impossible. He was already bleeding at all places. When he was in the activity of redeeming God. Even then, God gave him an opportunity and said that, turn your cheek. And, and someone cried to him that remember me when you get into uh, your Jesus did not uh, did not give an excuse of his state of being at the cross and the fact that he was uh, being a victim, an innocent victim, but he listened to the person that cried to him and told him in his frail state that uh, be at peace and remember you when I get into the kingdom. If even in that situation that wasn't favorable, if it became a bridge to reach to someone that God wanted to, to fish out. The other person is the person called Moses. When they were attacked by the Amalekites. Uh, and God told him that uh, uh, get uh, Joshua and uh, get the armies and go and meet them. And he told him that you, Moses, go up the mountain, that you'll fight the, mount, uh, the battle at the mountain, that go with, um, with Aaron and her. And when Moses got there, the Lord told him to raise your hands. And that is how you're going to fight your battle. Moses raised his hands, but at some point he got tired. Whenever he would bring them down, they would be overcome. Uh, imagine the, the uh, people that have gone to battle, they say that um, wars usually start in the morning till midday. Now imagine that Moses had to lift his hands all that time. 
But I want to tell you that the Lord that we have believed uh, he's a very wise God. He does not uh, he does not um, deceive himself. God had already planned it out and told Moses that go with Aaron and Hal so because God knew that he Moses would need those men. Uh, because God knew that the bring down of the hands for Moses was no more. That being broke is a very normal thing. And that falling sick is actually very normal. Uh, but there is a God that is telling us that I've not forsaken you and still there. Uh, that is why God allowed him to go with people that will hold his hand so that Moses will not lose his hand. He even stopped standing and they brought him a stone to sit. But so that that his eyes can remain focused. And that is what Christ is requiring of us, that our eyes remain focused. That we continue to see where he wants us to see. Uh, when God calls a person, it is he that brings people to support him. When, when he gives you to lead a team, he brings you people to support Bosco. you. Uh, when God brought Papa Bosco, he brought even people that will support him. Uh, so because God doesn't want anything that doesn't end. Beloved, we've come to the end of us. Um, I want to excuse myself for the time that I've gone past. Uh, we'll ask Pastor Eddie to come forward and help us in prayer. Uh, let me request you to stand up on your feet. Reflect which is your Samaria. Samaria. Uh, isn't it that there is an opportunity for you to serve the Lord, but you've erected a Samaria? And do you think that there are situations that you're going through that are tough and you're using them as an excuse? Yet if you allow the Lord, he will use you. As we pray that the Lord will set us free, uh, may he deliver us from excuses. May he deliver us from excuses. May he deliver us from barriers. Everything that hinders us from seeing what the opportunity to serve the Lord. Raise your heart and speak to the Lord. Speak to him. Tell him. We have a few days here on earth. And Lord has set us apart to use our lives. There is no uh, posing in this life. The way we don't pose Christianity is the same way we shouldn't pose serving the Lord. Data mwizina rya Yesu Kristo, buri mana yacu uri umubyeyi wacu. Urakoze kubwa ijambo ryawe, urakoze kubwa ubuzima, nanone wongeye kudukangurira mwami mana. Twagiye dushyira imbago nyinshi 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 mwami mana ku murimo wawe aho dutumye mwami ibyo byose bikagenda bidutangira mwami hari byinshi wadutumye nti twabikora kobera ko mwami mana hari imbago twashyizeho hari byinshi watubwiye nti twabikora kobera imbago mwami harabo wadutumyeho nti twabikora kobera mwami mana amateka dufitanye nabo mabi Mwami haraho wadutumye uravuga ngo hari ibyago nigeze kugirira yo ntabwo najya yo mwami haraho wigeze mwami ni byinshi ni byinshi ni byinshi hari nabanze gukora mwami ngo nta bibafite biriya ntabyo bafite ari ku itekura dusanze muri aka kanya turongiye turagusabye ngo tubabarire utubabarire mwami utubabarire kuri ziriya mbago saba imana imbabazi ni ku ijambo ry'Imana ari barivuze wikerense ijambo ry'Imana Ijambo ry'Imana ryaje rikubwira wowe ryaje rimbwira jewe ryaje ryaje rikubwira ngo wikwisuzugura ryaje ryaje rikubwira ngo wikwigira uyu nguyu 
shouldn't fake that you shouldn't say that that Aruko twe uko twabaye uko twarezwe aho twavutse uko turi ibyo byose mwami bigahurirwa hamwe kugira ngo mwami tudasohoze icyo wavuze ndagusebye imbabazi mwami utubabarire mu izina rya Yesu Kristo mwami ni kenshi twagiye duhamagarwa nawe mu murimo wawe tukavuga ngo turananiwe nubu haruanze guterana aravuga ngo arananiwe haruanze mwami Kube gukorichi Aravuga ngo arana niwe Mngami Nyamara wa Ya hama gari rukuchindi Imbaraga zikaboneka Nuburuguwa hivu mutima dufite Nuburuguwa hivu ni muri tukwe dufite Mngami nda senze ngo Muri iche chumgeru Wauri mura tubo hora Na ho hanu hatubo horeho Na ho hanu hatu chizeho Na ho hanu mngamu hatu vane Kufu yumusi Ni hajiru mugabo Ni hajiru mugore Nihajiro umusore, nihajiro umukobwa Wangira kufuga ngo Fite squeeze zi Ndana niwe Mga mahugo tukwa ambari mbaraga Kukizo mbaraga tuzivana kuri wawe Uite katukonjere tukwizere Reki chichumgeru Chibichumgeru mga mehamge nawe Ufuga ngo sinakwijiriza Nakwizere Kandi bila shovoka Zyose mishovo cheru wizeye Mga me uafuga ngo sinabono mganya Mga me ura shovoka kuboneka Tura senze mga me Ngo Manu shovoze, manuri mbaraga zawe zitu shovoze, manura umuka wawe wera, watkwe merekarwe mufasha adu shovoze, manuri mbaraga zawe, urakoze mngam, urakoze mngam, reka na nyuma yiri jambo, umuka wawe wera, ariwe mngiji shamukuru, akomeza duherechezi, akomeza vugane ni mitima yachu, mngizina jia Yesu Kristu. Tuku kwa mea mashi, kukuri mana yachu, kukuru mremi wachu, mngizina jia Yesu Kristu mngane wachu, Amen.